Hi guys, so this is just um, appending to the abstraction reference guide because I feel like that was a pretty long video and I just wanted to split it up. As I mentioned, like if you guys have any questions about that part, feel free to ask your TAs. Um, here's just a little bit more about abstraction. So I want, I've explained like all the different utilities here, but as you can see in the starter, like sometimes they'll have like print board. Um, so the reason why we can use it like this is because we've actually imported utilities. We've imported utilities into this program, which allows. basically ask it like questions like oh do this for me and it will do it for you and you don't have to know what exactly how it's implemented this is also another layer of abstraction that's very important and the other layer of abstraction that i didn't get to mention in the last one was that if we do all these like if we're doing all these functions now you know how they work but imagine if i just did this to every single one So now you don't know what they do, right? But the thing is, like, you don't know how they're implemented, but you can figure out what they do by just thinking, oh, what does get key press mean? And usually they'll give you some, like, comments up here to say, like, oh, get key press does this. And that's abstraction because you don't need to know exactly how it's implemented, but now you know exactly how, like, you still know what it does. Like, pause. Oh, okay. If I write a comment here, like, pause pauses for 0.5 seconds for four seconds seconds so like i pause for however many seconds i input here seconds so that's a comment and that's really helpful to understanding like what the abstraction does our comments are actually inside here but um sometimes usually they'll put them outside so that you can see that and that makes it really useful for other programmers who have to use this file so as you can see, there's two layers of abstraction. First, there's like a level of abstraction here, like we have these functions and then we abstract them away, but even further, we abstract them even further by just putting like a utils folder in here. And then you can just like look at here, like look at these board functions, print board, blah, blah, abstraction reference guide. And then you can just use these functions right away by using the utils folder without even looking inside the utils folder. So that's the really important abstractions that we're using here. And you're gonna have to use these um, you're going to have to use these throughout your throughout your program. So for example here, creating my new 4x4 board. Well, if we look in here, where where what sounds like something that would make or create a 4x4 board, right? So you see right here, oh, make board of n. Well, that sounds pretty useful. So what if we just make board of 4? Yeah, okay, so that's what happens. We make a board of four, but we didn't have to write anything except making a board of four. But that's really important because good code is not code where you have to rewrite, like make board of four or have to do these things over and over. You should have it already for you and it makes it really easy for people to understand this code. Like what if you were like, oh, board equals like four and blah, 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 return, blah, 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 blah. It's just a lot more confusing instead of just, just abstracting that layer away and just writing make board of four. So I actually gave you the answer to the first question, but I think it'll be really helpful in helping you understand how to do, like do what's, do these kinds of abstractions without having to re rewrite a lot of code. So that's pretty much it for the abstraction. And now I'm gonna get into just going through the steps and then going through the project files with you and then making sure you know how to test so that you can get through this project without having too much trouble.